नमस्कार विद्यार्थी मित्रांनो स्वागत आहे तुमचं माझ्या युट्यूब चॅनल मध्ये चॅनल ला सबस्क्राईब करा आणि बाजूला दिलेली घंटा दाबायला विसरू नका व्हिडिओ आवडल्यास नक्की लाईक करा आणि शेअर करा तर चला सुरुवात करूया आपण आजच्या लेक्चरला विद्यार्थी मित्रांनो आजच्या लेक्चरचा आपला टॉपिक आहे डबल फर्टिलायझेशन हा विद्यार्थी मित्रांनो आपण आज स्टडी करणार आहोत डबल फर्टिलायझेशन बिफोर स्टार्टिंग ऑफ दिस टॉपिक वी हॅव एक्सप्लेन और वी हॅव स्टडीड अबाउट द डिफरंट एजन्सीज ऑफ पॉलिनेशन ए बायोटिक एजन्सी ऑफ पॉलिनेशन एज वेल एज बायोटिक एजन्सी ऑफ पॉलिनेशन इन विच वी हॅव डिस्कस अ डिफरंट पॉलिनेटिंग एजंट सच एज द वेन वॉटर इन्सेक्ट बॅट्स बर्ड्स स्नेल्स अँड एज वेल एज स्नेक डिअर स्टुडंट टुडे अवर मेन टॉपिक इज डबल फर्टिलायझेशन अँड दिस टॉपिक इज इम्पॉर्टंट टॉपिक विच इज अ मेन फीचर ऑफ ऑल द एनजिओस्पर्मिक प्लॅन्ट सो लेट स्टार्ट द टॉपिक ऑफ डबल फर्टिलायझेशन so here double fertilization why the term is double fertilization here all the angiospermic plants are characterized by having a fertilization twice sarva angiospermic plants madhe fertilization he don vele hote vidyarthi mitranno manun yala mhatla jata double fertilization we have Uh, we know about the fertilization fertilization is nothing but the union of male gamete with the female gamete to form a diploid zygote this simple fusion of both gametes is nothing but the fertilization but here the process of fertilization is going to be occur twice hence it is a double fertilization so let's know about the scientists who discovered the process of double fertilization dear student you have to remember that the name of scientist is navasin navasin who have been discovered this process of double fertilization discovered in lily ac plants the plants which belongs to lily ac family Lineage plants such as the <coughs> such as the fritillaria and lilium fritillaria and lilium so what you have to remember here that the scientist navasan who discovered the process of double fertilization in lily cs plants such as fritillaria and lilium now here simply fertilization is nothing but the fusion of male fusion of male gamete with the female gamete female gamete and once these gametes get fused they forms to form to form diploid zygote to form diploid zygote so this is nothing but the fertilization but here in case of double fertilization five nucleus five nucleus and three gametes are involved so you have to be remember that in double fertilization the total number of nucleus five are involved and the total number of gametes are three means five nucleus and the three gametes are involved are involved in the process of double fertilization so let us see which five nucleus and which three gametes are involved in this process so five nucleus 
the three nucleus uh, sorry the two nucleus from the two nucleus from the secondary nucleus secondary nucleus another one nucleus from the egg cell another two nucleus from the two male gametes two male gametes so total number of nuclei are five whereas three gametes this two male gametes and one egg cell egg cell is also act as a female gamete female gamete so egg cell is one in number and male gametes are two in number so three gametes are involved okay this is the basic about the process of double fertilization let us see in detail how the process of double fertilization occurs the process of double fertilization of begins with the deposition of the compatible pollen grains on the stigma once the pollen grains deposited over the stigma was the correct type of the pollen grain deposited over the stigma this stigma secretes the abundant sugary solution as well as the sugary liquid and all that sugary liquids absorbed by the pollen grain so due to this absorption of the sugary content secreted by the stigma the cytoplasmic volume of the pollen grain increases and it implies the pressure on the intine so intine comes out through any one of the germ pore in the form of the pollen tube and this is nothing but the formation of the pollen tube in some plant there is formation of only one pollen tube it is called as a monosiphonous monosiphonous whereas in some plants there is a formation of more than one pollen tube it is called as a polysiphonous so keep in mind dear student to uh, to grow a pollen tube there is a requirement of nutrients such as boron and calcium boron and calcium helps in the development of the pollen tube once the pollen tube develops once the pollen tube develops the tube cell the tube cell uh, enters into the tip of the pollen tube and after that the generative cell comes into the pollen tube so the tube cell nucleus occupies the terminal position in the pollen tube and the germinating uh, the generative nucleus or generative cells in the pollen tube divides by mitosis to form the two haploid male gametes so this entire structure along with pollen tube degenerating tube nucleus and the two male gamete is nothing but the male gamete of fight so once the pollen tube along with the male gametes are formed this pollen tubes enters into the ovule the entry of the pollen tube into the ovule takes place through it may be takes place through the micropylar end it may be takes place through the micropylar end it may take it may takes place through the chalaza or it may occur through the integuments so remember student you have to remember that the entry of pollen tube most common the entry of pollen tube generally the entry of pollen tube occur through the micropylar end and it is called as a porogamy porogamy so what is meant by porogamy when the pollen tube enters into the uh, ovule through the micropylar end it is called as a porogamy when the pollen tube enters through the chalazal end chalazal ends into the ovule then it is called as a chalazogamy 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 and when the pollen tube enters into the ovule through the integuments it is called as a mesogamy so these are the three types of the entry of the pollen tubes on the basis of their size from which they enters into the ovule okay porogamy chalazogamy and the mesogamy dear student another one term you have to be remember here that that is the siphonogamy siphonogamy so let's see what is siphonogamy siphonogamy here 
the two male gametes which is formed by the division of the mitotic division of the generative cell are non motile so what you have to remember here the two male gametes are formed which are non motile and this non motile here male gametes are also non motile and female gametes are also non motile but in the process of the fertilization these two non motile male gametes are carried towards the egg or towards the uh, ovule with the help of the pollen tube so here non motile male gametes non motile male gametes gametes carried carried with the help of with the help of pollen tube with the help of pollen tube this is called as the siphonogamete so now see in detail the process of fertilization how it occurs the pollen tube goes towards the ovule through the styler region of the carpel and this growth this growth of pollen tubes towards the embryo sac or towards the ovule is a chemotactic movement this is occur because of the secretion of certain hormones by the synergid cells so let us imagine this is a ovule this is a ovule and this ovule has a this ovule has a embryo sac towards the micropylar egg so this is the embryo sac containing the antibody cells degenerating nucleus and egg cell of egg apparatus and uh, let uh, label them antipodal cells antipodal cells this is the secondary nucleus secondary nucleus this is the egg cell and these two are the sinner gets this is the chalaza these are the integuments these are the integuments this is the micropylar egg or micropyle this is the hilum and this is the funicle funicle i have just drawn the anatropous ovule in which the mature female gametophytes are completely formed now let's see how this entry of let's suppose this is a pollen tube this is a pollen tube carrying a non motile male gametes carrying a non motile male gametes so here this is a pollen tube pollen tube carrying a non motile male gametes these are the two male gametes male gametes so when the pollen tube comes towards the micropylar end it enters into the embryo sac generally the entry of pollen tube into the ovule takes place through the micropyle that is called as the porogamy once the pollen tube enters into the ovule it try to enters inside the uh, towards the egg apparatus towards the egg apparatus so how it, how it enters into the egg apparatus so these pollen tubes any one of those these synergid cells these synergid cells internally consist of here like projections and these hair like projections are nothing but the filiform apparatus filiform apparatus so this filiform apparatus of the synergids guides the pollen tube to enter inside the embryo sac once the pollen tube reaches towards the synergids the 
pollen tubes absorb the moisture and the water pollen tubes absorb the moisture and the water from any one of the synergids so the tip so the tip of the pollen tubes swell up the tip of pollen tube swell off due to the absorption of the moisture and the water and due to the endosmosis due to the endosmosis the tip of pollen tubes undergo bursting the tip of pollen tube burst and this bursting of tip of pollen tube releases the gametes inside the embryo sac so the first male gamete fuses with the egg cell so here we call that syngamy the first fertilization called as a syngamy it is also called as two fertilization or also called as a first fertilization so the process of first fertilization was discovered by the strauss burger strauss burger strauss burger in a monotrepa plants so what you have to remember dear student the first fertilization which is called as two fertilization or syngamy between one of the male gamete with the egg cell was discovered by the strauss burger in a monotrepa plant so syngamy is nothing but the fusion of or union of fusion of one of the male gamete one of the male gamete male gamete with the with the egg cell egg apparatus ka jo egg cell hota hai usse ek male gamete kya hota hai fuse hota hai to form to inke fusion se kya banega to form diploid zygote to form the diploid zygote so n plus n gives to n this is the zygote so this is the first product zygote of syngamy or first fertilization dear student the remaining second gamete fuses with the secondary nucleus secondary nucleus is already deployed in embryo sac except the secondary nucleus or the structure are haploid and secondary nucleus is a diploid so in second fertilization second fertilization is called as a triple fusion is called as a triple fusion or you may call it fons fertilization or may call second fertilization second fertilization so in triple fusion what is happening the other uh, second male gamete so any one of the second male gamete sorry दो गैमेट में से एक तो गैमेट पहले यूज हुआ तो सेकेंड रिमेनिंग मेल गैमेट एप्लॉय फ्यूजेस विद द सेकेंडरी न्यूक्लियस सेकेंडरी न्यूक्लियस एंड दिस सेकेंडरी न्यूक्लियस इज डिप्लॉयड इन दर प्लॉयड लेवल यन प्लस टू यन गिवस राइज टू प्राइमरी एंडोस्पॉम प्राइमरी एंडोस्पॉम न्यूक्लियस कॉल्ड एज अ पीई yan so the product of second fertilization is pn which is triploid 3n pn is a triploid tissue or it is a nutritive tissue which provides the nutrition to the developing embryo so this is all about the process of double fertilization thank you for watching